What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger baby. This is day two of setting up my classroom. Um, like I said before, the principal came in, he approved everything, the distancing, he's gonna buy some um, PPE stuff for the room, protect, personal protection equipment for the classroom, um, the books, they did not say we could not have a library, but then I'll probably come up with a system. If you touch a book, then it has to go in like the dirty bin. Um, but the kids don't really mess with the books very often. The school has a phenomenal library. The English department also has a phenomenal, um, uh, phenomenal books for seventh and eighth graders, sixth, seventh and eighth graders. So we have a whole room dedicated to us as well for class sets, but they, we can't do a class set unless each class, like every class has their own set and that will be the book that they touch. So I'm not sure about that. We'll see maybe later in a year, you know, when we get over this or whatever, um, that would be something that's a little more feasible. So I'm just gonna unload my books just to get some of the boxes out of the way. Um, there will be no rhyme or reason at this time. I just wanna get them on the bookshelf. Um, I have one, two, three, I have four bookshelves, five bookshelves, and I just wanna get the boxes unpacked. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I will say they are probably more up-to-date books, but I will tell you this, and I'm only basing this on my limited experience, um, but I do have a lot of experience, several years experience, working with Title I kids, and I fell in love with the Bluefridge series books because it's a book that many title ones can relate to they can see themselves in the story they see you know images of themselves and they have real life situations that the characters in the book must overcome and it's just like it's realistic fiction it's something that they can connect with something that they can rock with and you know like speak in a language that they know i fell in love with the blue fruit series book uh, several years ago, I brought one home for my daughter to read, and I think she finished the story in, uh, she finished the book in probably two days. She loved it. And they have a, an entire series. I tried to get it at my other school, the whole series, but it's, it's something that I truly, truly love and I can connect with because realistic fiction books are my favorite um, genre to read. Um, and one boy emailed me, he said, I really enjoy, you know, listen to you read and us discuss, you know, it was a pro, a, book written in prose or something like that and it was just so awesome and when you get little messages like that it just lets you know that you're doing something right as a teacher I don't do everything right I'm not the best teacher in the world but I'm gonna give my kids 110 percent with what I know and what I continue to learn so I feel as though if your heart is into it your passion you want them to learn let me tell you the content you can learn as you go along but you got to have that passion and that fire to want your kids to to teach your kids some stuff so that's my little tip for today okay, so this is the fabulous dawn she's the head of the Rila department she just organized my life child <laughs> What did you do, Dawn? So we had a Gmail boot camp. We got rid of all the junk mail, all of the mail that needed to be moved out of the inbox, <laughs> and we organized everything into folders. So now you can find everything, and you no longer have 2,000 plus emails. Oh, you gotta put my business inbox. out there like that? <laughs> So I feel much better. We got it down to how many? 20. 20 from over 2,000. I'm feeling accomplished today. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> well, thank you. 
Period. Period. Point blank. Period. <laughs> I thank you. I appreciate you so much. Love ya. <laughs> so I do feel a little accomplished. I don't. I don't, I'm just sorry, guys. Sometimes it just helps when somebody is right next to you. So I know, I understand how some students feel. They need that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, some people are visual. Some people just need a hand. And she she does uh, Gmail boot camps. Well, she'll help because a lot of teachers get so overwhelmed. The mass amount of parent emails. Um, people trying to sell you stuff. External emails. So she set up folders in my email account. The alarm is going off. She set up folders. This is my salad for today. Same as yesterday, but I added some tomato. I added some pickled radish, more pepperoncinis. Pickled radish, more pepperoncinis. Um garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and I don't think I added anything else. So it's mixed greens and kale. And I added some pepperoncini. Oh, and I added pickle asparagus because it's what I had in the house. And this, I didn't want my stuff to leak. So I added some Olive Garden salad dressing in the rest of my banana peppers jar because I was going to throw it away so I just um added it in here and I just used a little bit and I got me some water ice and I just add a little bit to my salad not too much because then it's it's too much for me and I'm not sure what we're gonna have for dinner I believe Bobby you no know, Bobby has to work my daughter So, what she did, she went through all my emails. She did a search for all the junk mail, and then she unsubscribed and then deleted. So, she kept doing that process, typing in all the names for the junk mail. And then she unsubscribed before she deleted them. Then she set up folders for parent emails. So, these are the categories. Parent email, the English department, a Dawn for the ELA lead, anything specific from her, anything from the principal, anything from the APs, and a to-do list. So I think those are the categories and maybe another category. So you set up your category, your folders, and every time you get an email from any one of those categories parent email whatever you answer respond to and then once it's complete you move it out of your inbox so think about organizing that way and all my 2019 2020 emails she put them in the archive so they're out of my out of my inbox and the to-do list she says don't forget about your to-do list Put things in that folder that you want to accomplish. And um, she cleaned it out. She did it for me. And then once she was done, once she was done, then she had me do a few on my own to make sure I set up another folder. I set up this just to make sure I was able to do it. And while she was doing that for me, which I appreciate the time she took to do that, um... I was setting up my grade book. Someone else was in here helping another teacher and I set up our grade book. So I'm appreciative of all of that. Because we had a meeting early and it, w it just went too fast for me. It was fast, fast, fast. And I wasn't the only teacher. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wasn't the only teacher that was like, that was fast. He went fast. I was like, I gave up. I may have said this already, but I was like, now I understand how a child feels when a teacher goes fast, fast, fast. They just give up and shut down. Because that's just what I did. 
So really nice uh, department league came in and helped another teacher and I, and they, uh, several teachers said the first part of the meeting went really fast. Because you need to give the person, we're all different. We all learn at different different rates, different speeds, different processes, even as adults. Um, you need that processing time. And then when you're trying to look for whatever it is you're looking for on a computer, you're looking for that line and then they're starting to talk to you. Didn't still, you still didn't find it. So your eyes are off the presenter. Then your eyes are looking for because we were supposed to be following along. But while he's going on, we you still looking for the first part and he don't went on to part B, C, and D. One point I was like, oh, can, can you do that again? Do that again. Calm down. Calm down. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. So then after I finished eating, we have to complete a week at a glance. So it's what um, the lessons that we plan to teach for the whole week next week. So we have to work on that. Then we also have to complete all those online courses. <laughs> Baby. So I think they're going to move this stuff out of my classroom today. They came in here twice and took stock of what I needed moved. I was like, I can't process with all this stuff just sitting there. So I'm glad that they're going to finally move it out. The lady said, I'll put you on top of this. I said, I can't think with all this in there. I can't think because it's like clouding up my brain cells. <laughs> I just made it. I picked up my teacher books. So they, you sign out these books. You sign out books every year. They're, they're very useful, very helpful. But then when I got back all my furniture was gone that I asked to be removed it's like a weight has been lifted it just look it just looks space let's see from a different view walk in the door now all that stuff is not here and over here it just now I could get a better sense of what's going on going on sis you know, this is usually my backdrop. I'm not doing anything new this year, so I might just put it back up here and there. And I took out the sister sofa to that, and I put a ball. I still have to clean my tables. Um, so let's see. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to put a divider here. Eight, nine, they're gonna put a divider here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And worst case scenario, somebody can see here. So I did it. I did it, guys. So this is what we're looking at so far. This is just the bare minimum of COVID friendly seating. Each seat is six feet apart. And with this, I don't think you really need the six feet because they're going to put a divider to divide the students. Um, and that's what we have. Looking good so far. Still got to get rid of all this stuff. And that's putting stuff away. I don't know what's in here. What's up guys? I got a little bit done. Um, we were left in planning most of the day and getting gray books fixed up. So I said I would not stay to after four. I said today, I said today I will stay to 4.30. It is now 4.36. I'm dropping whatever I'm doing 
and I'm leaving. But before I go, these are not secured up there um, securely. <laughs> so I just put these up there. I've, I designed these a couple of years ago and I just recycle them every year. This is a new location. So it's like even though I'm in a new space, I put things in different different place so it gives it a different look. And I just don't wanna throw them away. I took the glass out of them so it's just the paper sitting on here because at one of the schools I worked at, it was dangerous to have glass because we had kids who were cutters and stuff like that so I just removed the glass. So this is the expectations on how to enter the room. Do not change your seat. If that's your seat that you're assigned, don't get up and change your seat. Um, get started on a do now. A do now is an activity that will always be on a board as soon as the kids enter the room. Um, and don't come into my classroom if um, I'm not in here. Don't do that. <laughs> I truly believe in this. This is also, um, I think I also wrote that behind my teacher chair. Um, and if the kid is absent, so these are the expectations if the kid is absent, you know, it's up to them to make up that work and blah, blah, blah. If you're an early finisher, you always want to have something to do because if you don't have an activity for the kid, they will make sure they have an activity for you. So always have something in place for if a kid finishes early. Honestly, my go-to is read your book. I may um, do more of the bingo sheet this year. Um, I want to incorporate more vocabulary to expand the kids' vocabulary, um, which is needs work. And what to do if we have a fire, a fire drill or something like that. So I was glad I found a new spot for this stuff. I couldn't get rid of the cabinet. The cabinet is, I think, mounted to the wall or you know, secured to the wall. So I was like, don't worry about it. I work with what I have. It's cool. Um, they took my trash. I showed you earlier. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen this, but underneath this desk is an under desk elliptical. So I am going to put in a request to have this desk raised. I did it last year. It was so much work. So the kid can have more space in between the chair and the table. Um... I still need to get one of my bikes repaired. I might get rid of this. This, I've told this story before, but this is my prototype. I thought I had me an invention, and this was a regular bike that I had in my home. And I took the top part off, which were handlebars, and I had one of my friends build this top for me. And so I'm still putting the little bookcase together. That's still not done. I think I still have books. Um, I love this little thing. So I try to put popular books or books I want the kids to read up here. And this is a very, very good book. I like the stories in this book that most teens can relate to. Um, Forged by Fire. Very, very good book. Um, great book that teens can relate to. I haven't read any Jerry Spinelli books, but... Once you see this gold emblem, that means that's a pretty, in most cases, a good book. Monsters, very good book. And, of course, the kids like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But I don't like to market those too much because it's more like a cartoon. But just for the buy-in, you want kids to choose books that they want to read. So, I put them out. So, that's what we have so far. So, what I'm going to do here which is very important. I put my little lamps over here. Two of my lamps broke, so I need to get more lamps. Um, I need to fill these up with little books or knickknacks or whatever. Um, this I got. This is my little baby. Sometimes I put the class schedule, put little notes on it, but it makes me nervous. So what I'm going to do, there's a knob up here. So I'm gonna get that fish wire and I'm going to affix it to the ceiling. So if it tips over, it's not going to fall on the person sitting here. So that's on my to-do list before we come back to school. I believe everybody comes back August 24th. And this right here, I will mount on the wall here.
gonna mount that on the wall there. And I like to put quotes. We teach the kids about truisms to help them write, you know, creative hook lines for their essays. I'm not gonna go into a lesson about that, <laughs> but I always like to write some powerful quote there. Um, I'm thinking that I might make this the student work where I can display student work. Stuff that they work on, no one else has to touch it, you know, so I'll do that. So my goal is to, this is, this is my area right here. I do not have any organ, organizational bins or stuff, so I really need to get some organizational things going. Have to, uh figure that out I just don't want to throw my stuff in there it was a mess last year and it just made my nerves bad so other than that I put more lamps out I put my little friends out today tomorrow is going to be the fifth you know I'm trying to post videos for three channels so sometimes it takes takes me a long time plus do my daughter's hair plus do basketball plus do online stuff so it's it's a lot um, this is stuff, borders and stuff. I just use that stuff every year. I recycle every year. Like I said, I'm not buying anything new for the classroom. I may get a few little inexpensive lamps. And outside of that, I don't think I'll be purchasing anything for the class this year. You know, I need some clipboards, sturdy clipboards. Um, I might do that. Guys, I don't know why I do it to myself. <laughs> it's just like I set a few goals for myself in the classroom. I got rid of like, I broke down about four or five boxes. And I need to get a glue gun because it's hard for certain things to stick to the cement wall. So, I designed this. I drew this, doodled this, whatever you want to call it about three years ago. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know what was going on three years ago, but then I created this for one of my boards and I had it laminated and I just can't bring myself to throw it away. So I didn't use it last year and I just thought it was fitting for this year. I understand that black lives matter, all lives don't matter until black lives matter. But for me, my student lives matter, okay? Don't dig too deep into it. It is what it is, okay? and you know so it's not fully up there i might move the clock i'll probably move the clock and you know i have to put stuff on this board because this is going to be my student work wall for you know great things that they create so i got that i still have all of this but it was six or seven boxes over here I still have to put up my back wall. I'm on the fence about that. My area is still a mess, which I'll be taking most of that home. And I was told I'll just use my laptop, but the computers and stuff will have to fit over there somewhere. So I have to get a little table, figure out how it's gonna fit over here. Not sure how that's going to work yet, but I'll figure it out because I need it for my projector screen. So, this two chairs, they're gonna get me a divider to put over here. I'm probably going to put this sign above here. So I have a plan. Um, I'm probably not gonna do too much to this back wall. I'm gonna put my banner up back there and call it a day. Or I'll put the banner up over here. I'm not sure. And these things are super cute try to fix this little area up I can write a little quote or I don't know write something there every day um, I just love that little lamp and these are great they're magnetic they stick on a bit they stick on a dry erase board and this lamp I designed that lamp a while ago and the student workbooks will go under here I have to affix this to the wall so I shifted it from over there to over here because what happens when I pull down the shade you won't be able to see the objective homework whatever I decide to put in this box then I'm going to affix this to the wall reinforce that 
um there's no rhyme or reason for the books really those are my lower level readers down there and you know that's a great book so i wanted to put her on display and this is like things if i hand out things that's where i make copies of something that's where i put all my copies for the week and you know things can grow and stuff as they go along um some of the kids like that series of book and i knew these weren't gonna stay they were just temporary so i have to get i probably use glue gun for that still working on this uh this doesn't have to sit there for now put her right down there put no i have a section for diary of a wimpy kid these little books go right there and i still have to repair this put down my carpets um that's it for now i love this little stand i might design something to go in here because this is like where you put a little i don't know signage so that's what we have so far and my little joy up top and i'm almost there not too much not too much and then these bins i don't know they kind of grow as the year i gotta clean them out i don't know i was just throwing stuff up in there and this is for my document camera don't know where that's gonna go child and so far that's what we got so unloaded all my little books and gotta do stuff up there i know what i'm gonna do up there i'm just gonna do something up there and that's it so it's coming along and i'll probably end up covering this i would like to put a mirror there but i don't know i think too many people be looking at themselves but you know i like to do my outfit of the day and stuff like that so i don't know you know say and I'm gonna take these home tomorrow, these boxes, to plan, to plan for my moving. So I'm not throwing them out. And I just think this little setup here is so cute. So that's all I got so far. And this fell. This is when I won Teacher of the Year, 2015, 2016. So I don't like to throw glass in the trash unless someone knows or if I have a box to put it in. So. I'll figure that out tomorrow so everybody's safe. So I like my um cute little lunch bag. Compliments of Connie Child. Thank you very much. I used it because I was carrying my lunch in grocery bags. You know how you pack your bags at the grocery store. That's how my lunch would make it to and from school. My coffee, I do make me some coffee every day. Kind of like hot chocolate coffee mix. And I never finish it. I got my mask ready to go. Put my camera up, my camera case. Already packed my computer. Um, I'm going to fill up my mug with some ice for my drive home. My battery ran out. I always like to carry an extra battery with me. Well, I already talked about these. This is um, a stapler remover. This is my favorite all-time favorite and I didn't have anything to write in I don't have a teacher planner yet so I've been writing in one of my daughter's old composition notebooks <laughs> I know I just get it done I know I'm a little ghetto no I know I know I'm a ghetto little ghetto little, little something little something and um the sweet lady gave this after she hooked up my my mail and organized it for me she gave me this things to get done for the day which is so cute Little people try to help me out here and there and then this right here is my favorite favorite thing ever one of my amazing subscribers got this for me last year and because i have a lot of lamps around the house <laughs> because i have a lot of lamps around the room i plug the lamp or the outlet whatever it is into this and then this is controlled by remote control 
So when I come in in the morning, I do not have to go to every lamp that's in this room. Love this. Highly recommend that. Highly recommend that. So with that said, I think that's it. This is my little area. I started putting my teacher books there. I have a whole nother set of teacher books once I get this moved and figured out. And this is my teacher chair. A lot of you have seen my teacher chair already. That's my teacher chair. I designed this chair a couple of years ago. And then on the back, it has this quote that I freehand. It took a couple of hours to do this. No no template no nothing it was this was all freehand and i usually put my schedule and stuff back here i need to get a longer um extension well we can't have extension cord um, multiple plug outlet and i got my brooklyn pop-up thing that i love and i love him he's so cute all right so give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll check in with you later. Peace.